Good afternoon, and welcome back to Asgard. And today we are going to start a series on Unepic. Um, <clears throat> assuming you guys enjoy it and you want to see more. Um, but basically, this is yet another game that's set on my Steam that I purchased and have not touched yet. So, um, and it's one that's always kind of piqued my interest. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I did make a, a random character there. Um, let's see, the introduction tutorial, yes. Choose a name. We're just going to call it Asgard. Oh, I think we have space. Let's do, let's do two Asgard then. Alright. And, hmm... Let's go with medium. Um, extra skill point when leveling up. Um, let's go with hard, cause I've I've played quite a few okay. Castlevania. When you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. Ha <laughs> moron. The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let a cleric work. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures. Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream, and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! God, I'm good. Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Fuck, I sprung a trap. I got a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, fucking beer! Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Bastards, you switched off the light! I'm peeing in here! Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Where's the toilet? I don't get it, I was just peeing in it. Oops, I think I just pissed on the floor. Let's see if I can find the door. Nope, this is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the Equip option. To open and close the inventory, all Press right. inventory. Inventory. Okay, let's equip it. Alright. So, um, basically this game... What's this? Stone walls, columns, darkness. Where the hell am I? Of course, those bastards must have put some sort of psychotropic shit in my beer. I'm having a hallucination. Cool. It almost looks real. Basically, the game, from what I understand, is kind of D&D based. Um, uh, what's this? There's something ahead. It looks like... Holy shit! A skeleton! I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. I could see her as a skeleton. Or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn! This place is crowded with traps! Go figure. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay, while the drug's working, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool! I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. Yeah, whatever shit they put in my beer is really amazing. 
I'd better draw a map so I don't get lost. Press map to see the map. You can place notes on the map by clicking on an area. Oh, nice. Oh. So this is the start. That's kind of nice, actually. All right. Um. Oh, what we got here? Um, but from what I understand, it is highly influenced by D and D. Um, I don't know how extreme that goes, but we shall see. This is just a dead end. Okay. Alright, let's go through here. And down we go. Um. Hmm, looks like we have a guest. And he is unarmed. Uh, no. No, no, no. I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you my hospitality. Um, hey. I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? No! <sighs> Shit, that was scary. That shadow thing pounced at me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? This is not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. Holy shit! I've been possessed! Damn it! I can't escape! I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh! I'm possessed! I'm possessed! Why the hell do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body and I can do whatever pleases me! Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it, you some bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid creature! I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. In a couple of hours, the drug will wear off anyway. So, you don't scare me. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. I don't feel like I need to put any notes down for that area. Look at these corpses. In days of yore. They were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. Um, but yeah, from what I understand, it's it's pretty well based on D and D in the way hey, that it plays. A sword. Finally, it must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the <laughs> sword, get close to it and press action. Right. Then, to equip it, find it in the inventory and select equip. Okay. Um, but as far as the gameplay... Boom! Look at all this loot! I'm rich! Gold is, what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Shiny coins. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press action. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that's not a good decision, but let's try it anyway. Oh, maybe. 
Huh. Okay. Maybe it's... Oh, shit. How easy it was to trick <laughs> you. Why art thou such a fool? What? What are you saying? Thy greed has become thy doom. It has brought me freedom as well. What the hell's wrong with me? I feel... weak. I'm losing my strength. Oh. Oh, shh. Shit. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. Free at last. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Now, let me start. All right, give me one second to get back to where we were, I guess. And we'll try this again. Okay, welcome back. Um, Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press menu to open the menu and access to all its options. All right. Um, <clears throat> is there a way to save? No? Okay. It says we have to save manually. Anyway, as far as the gameplay goes, it's a lot. It's Metroidvania. You know, if you're familiar with it, uh, Castlevania. Oh, a snake. It's enormous. Shit, that motherfucker's as tall as me. Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords are especially effective against. All right. But I have to actually equip this. Yeah. Nah. Snake. Snake. Snake! <laughs> a chest. And where there's a chest, there's loot. Press action when in front of the chest to open it. Should it contain anything? Okay. Um I totally love that there was a Metal Gear reference right there. Hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axes are super effective against solid objects or armored monsters. Swords, dag... Okay. So it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of inventory swapping. I wonder if there's a hot... Like, quick swap, or... Or not. We have 15 coins. I guess those are okay to collect. They're not going to weigh me down and kill me. Or whatever was another snake. Let's make some snake steaks. To swap between weapons without having to open the oh. inventory, you can assign a quick key in your inventory by clicking the item, selecting assign shortcut. Okay, let's do that then. Um, oops, assign shortcut one. Okay. Ah. Alright, and assign shortcut to. There we go, and. Aha! Um. But yeah, it's a game I've been kind of curious to check out. You know, I just haven't had the time to do that. Oh, we got a bow. Let's see. I'll put that on four. Because I know they said something about axes. I'd rather have the axe on three. Oh, nice. We can light torches. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't read that. Hey, an oil lamp or something like that. I'd better light it too. If Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Press action when in front of a lamp. I wonder why he wasn't reading that part, that first part. Hey, Dark Smokey Dude, what's your name? I have no name. How's that work? The Lord of this castle has no name? You are mistaken. I am not the Lord of this castle. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion. One of those one-hit-point wonders. If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. 
Well, Shadow Guy, this castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear, and then no one will have to be destroyed, just like that. You, a pathetic creature of meat and bone. The creator of everything. <laughs> Are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Let's see. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. As you wish, Zero. By the way, I haven't introduced myself. I care not. I'm known as Strider, but my real name is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. <laughs> And I'm the rightful <laughs> heir to the kingdom of Gondor. Damn. I'm trapped in the body of a fool. Are you calling me foolish? Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? <sighs> the, uh, the dialogue and stuff in this game is pretty witty. I have to say. Minor healing <gasps> potion. Oh, ah! No! <gasps> There we go. Aha. Um. Anyway, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of dialogue this episode. Yay! I guess we did good things. I guess those. I'm assuming that those stay lit. Maybe even after we Crouch leave. one near an edge to illuminate the area below. Okay. No. Oh, I. I was thinking I'd move forward. Oh, what is this? Actually, I think I know where we're at. Because when you start a game and skip the tutorial, it starts you past these guys. Because I remember coming in this room when I was checking it out. Like, just seeing kind of how it would record and stuff. Um... I came through this area before. Oh, and now I know how to pick this stuff up, which is nice. Let's see. Hey, hey, there's a chest. Minor healing potion. Um, hmm, should I use this? Oh yeah, this is way better. Oh shit. I wonder if there's anything like a bonus or something for lighting all that up. Magic essences are used to cast spells and create potions. It is a good idea to keep these for later. Alrighty. Oh shit! No! Die! Die! Now I need to switch weapons! But it takes a second. I need to. Stop it! Stop it, damn it! Stop it! Ow. Oh no! <sighs> okay, give me a second to get back to where we were. That was a mistake on my part. Okay, welcome back. Um, now we should be good. Blue magic essence. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to, it seems like we're gonna have to be kind of cautious going through here because we definitely don't want to end up like that again. I probably could have gotten away switching weapons, maybe. Magic essences are used to cast. Oh, yeah, I already know that. Um, but I don't know. I was kind of worried about the, uh, shit. Uh, the amount of time, because it does take him a minute. There's a doorway. It is recommended to assign a shortcut to healing potions. To search for a potion in the middle of battle. Okay, yeah, I should probably do that too. I didn't think about that. Um, we're gonna set. Oops, no. Set this as nine. All right. Oh, there's like a key slot on this head. So I'm assuming we'll be able to use that later on. There's a ladder going down right here so let's see what's down here really really quick nothing all right it's another one of those doors 
Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna need some keys for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually mark this and say um, two keys. And we'll change it, you know, later on. And let's go ahead and put start there. Okay, because <clears throat> we're gonna have to make our own notes as we progress um, through this. So it's just gonna make it kind of interesting, I think. By the gods of Cobol. What is this thing? It's a magical prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. There's a spirit locked in that box? What, like a rival god? You're mistaken, fatuous mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. Really? Why is it locked up? It is a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, hm. it can communicate through that beam of light. Wow, must be an important guy. What's he do? But saves I not reveal that information. No? Okay, I'll ask it myself. You? <laughs> Foolish mortal. He will never talk to an insignificant slug like you. Really? We'll see. I wonder if it's a save point. That's kind of what I'm betting. And Taro Adun. Who is he? Can't you tell? I've possessed this body to carry out an important mission for my great lord Harnakon. You filthy liar! On Korobaj, it's been a long time. What is this body you've taken? I haven't seen a being like this. This body I've taken belongs to a privileged race. The humans. In that case, I shall restore this vessel's vitality and remove any afflictions from it. Thank you. My great lord will be pleased with your assistance. I shall return if I need healing. There's something else. My great lord has given me a new name. From now on, I shall be known as Zira. It will be as you say, Zira. <laughs> as long as I can get here, I'll be safe. Press action to save the game and recover your health. Awesome. Ancora Bash Zera, your health has been restored. Game save. That's gonna come in Did hand. you hear, Zera? I have guaranteed healing. It's amazing. If I get hurt and I get back here, I'll be renewed. Just like resting in an inn in Dragon Warrior. I just have to not die before getting back here. Thou art a blackguard and a rogue for supplanting me. A better man would show his titles and name with pride. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not big on ceremony. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back up there. Alright. Okay, I think we're pretty much through the tutorial now. Maybe? Um. Let's go over this way really, really quick. Um, I know we're kind of approaching wrapping up point. Um, so this level is going to be, it's been more of a tutorial type level. Oh shit. Okay, they die fairly easy. Fairly easy life. Oh god. Alright. Oh, we are getting some XP though building up, which is nice to see. Um. Oh, do we, do we want to just dive on down? Nope. God. God. These bats suck, by the way. Just for the record. Oh, nice. We got a heart. Okay. Let's see. What we got over here? A light dagger. Do we want to use this? I guess. Sign it to a shortcut, and let's see what it does. Oh man. Okay, so it's like a thrusting weapon, I guess. Oh, do we want to go down? Because I'm worried about everything respawning on us if we just go on straight down. Uh, what's down here? Nothing good. 
Oh, there's a torch, though. Let's light that up. I'm assuming that this wraps around here. Shit! Where'd you come from? Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Uh, yeah. That. That's what I'd be wanting. A halo. What the hell? What's this halo? Teleport you under the golden box of the healing spirit can be used as many times as you wish. Oh, so we can just teleport back uh, whenever we want to save. That's kind of actually going to be kind of nice for us. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Damn you. There we go. Let's see what up leads to. Oh shit! What the fuck? Die! Okay. The halo is a powerful artifact that teleports you directly to the healing spirit. You can use it as many times as you want. Oh, okay. Attacks with a dagger from behind inflict 50% more damage and increases the critical chance by 10%. This only works when attacking humanoids or snakes. Well, okay. That answers all of our questions, and we probably should set this as having a shortcut. Ranger clothes. Uh, armor level 1, status 108%, extra damage with bows plus 10, critical chance uh, with bows plus 2%. Oh. <laughs> I'm naked. <laughs> hey! Hello, friend! You die. Alright. And there's all those, like, heads on the walls. Oh, shit! No! Stop it! Eye of a satyr. Okay. Oh, shit! This is not going so well. Yeah, come on, worm. Alright. Phew. There we go. Light spear. Oh my god, there's so many weapon types on here. Alright, let's see what this... Okay. Probably just more range, I'm assuming. It's like our hotbar is going to be all weapon types. Pressing F2 allows you to see all of the weapons you have and equip them. Press F1 to return to the shortcut panel. All right. No, get out! Damn you! Those guys don't interrupt. Cider's intestines. Awesome. All right. I want to see what this Soren's thing is. Hey, it's a merchant. That's right. His name is Zoran. I can read, thanks. He is a hustler, a usurer, a swindler. He will try to cheat you with abusive prices. If you kill him, you will be able to obtain all his belongings. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. If you want me to kill him, it's because you want him dead, or you know that he can kill me easily. Either way, no deal. All right. You. I never see you before. I'm um a Sith, a Dark Knight. <laughs> my name is Dark Helmet, and I have been sent to protect my lord's castle by Harnikon himself. You welcome to Humble Store, O oh Great Dark Knight. Name is Zoran, and me Butter. Wish Butter you? We have lots of goods. It's great pleasure to Butter with protectors. To buy or sell items, press. All right. Let's see what he has. Candle. Hmm. Might be better than our to our uh, lighter. Heat aura creates an aura of heat around you that gradually damages nearby enemies. Teleport to Zorons. Let's see. It's not expended upon use. Oh, nice. Resurrects a dead pet. In the inventory, look for the dead pet and select the resurrect option. What is this? Okay, it's the box containing the pure spirit in your area. The icon will appear in your map. It's not expended upon use. Um, let's see, what else? What weapons? A flare launcher? Wand? 
and um, just different arrows and stuff. Um, let's just really, really quickly, let's go ahead and get this candle. Because I'm kind of curious to see, is this going to be an upgraded light source? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with that, I think. Um, instead of our lighter. And let's go ahead and do the halo. And um, I think we're going to end the episode out Encore there. Games. And um, next episode, we'll hopefully get a bit more done. I know this episode was a lot of tutorial stuff and a lot of uh, dialogue and everything. Um, you know, getting started with the game. But now I think we're about ready to uh, begin rolling on through. And um, so next episode, we'll continue with that. Oh, it looks like stuff doesn't respawn after we kill it. So that's kind of nice to know. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys join me for that. And do let me know if you guys want to see more of this uh, series. I just think it would kind of be something fun, uh, you know, to start going through and, and whatnot. So um, I hope you guys join me for that. And until next episode, do take care. And I hope to see you guys then.